It's been an insane week in the world of AI, so let's cover all the news stories that you might have missed over the past week. So it is rumored that OpenAI is going to launch GPT-5 sometime this August, and their open weighted model, their open source model, is supposed to launch before GPT-5. And there's been some rumors floating around that GPT-5 is going to be very close to AGI, and I won't cover this in another video because I want to like really dedicate and dive into that whole concept of AGI. So if you guys want to see that and you want to keep up to date with the latest and greatest AI content, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI daily. Sticking with the news of ChatGPT, the ChatGPT agent is now rolling out to anyone with a $20 plus subscription. So if you don't have access, you will in the near future. There is a new app on Google Labs called Opal, and it is a no code coding app to make mini AI applications or things like that. So you can actually just drag and drop like input, you can generate an output, and you can actually have it generate like images, videos, text, whatever you want. It's pretty cool. You can make it search the web. There are positives and negatives. I actually just did a 20 minute video of that just yesterday. So if you wanna know more information, I do a deep dive into that. Check that one out. There is an advanced version of Gemini with DeepThink that achieved a gold medal at the International Mathematic Olympiad. It scored a total of 35 out of 42 points and answered five out of six questions right within the 4.5 hour time limit. To give you an idea of progress, it had a silver medal last year. This year, it is gold medal. So it has done better, but also, OpenAI also received a gold medal. OpenAI also got five out of six questions right. And keep in mind, this is like high school math competition style stuff. So anyway, this is Google. By the way, as an aside, we didn't announce on Friday because we respected, and in my opinion, the board's original request that all AI labs share the results only after the official results have been verified by independent experts. So OpenAI actually released their gold medal on the Friday, and then Google was like, hey, we're not going to release it until the board's original request was met. It's funny because he goes on to say that they were given permission to share now and that they are the first and official gold level performance for an AI system. So Google's basically saying, hey, we did follow all the rules. We are the first <laughs> gold medal performance in this contest, not open AI. Sticking to Google News for a moment, there's this new transformer model that allows historians to connect the past. So this model is phenomenal. If I scroll down real quick, there's this like little demonstration here where you can see like an artifact they find. It is able to fill in what is missing in mere seconds. It is able to connect us to the past, to things that we didn't understand before and understand it better. So the model can adapt to different ancient languages, scripts, and media, and it's able to to like translate it and understand it really quickly that we weren't able to do before. There's been some really good news for anyone who does programming and likes AI. So Alibaba, for example, announced that there's a new AI coding model, Quinn 3 Coder, and Quinn 3 Coder works as well as Claude Code according to all the benchmarks. You can see from this graph here, here is Quinn 3 Coder, and then here is Claude Sonnet. So this is the size of the model. The model is substantially smaller, but the performance is in line. It is open source. Quinn 3 Coder completely open, which means anyone in theory can run it wherever they want. And I say in theory, it still requires a lot of hardware compute in order for it to run. So don't think you're gonna be able to run this locally on your home computer, unless you have like a $100,000 rig. But nonetheless, it is positive that we're pushing these open source models that are this good, which makes the closed source models have to get even better, which means we win. Or the open source models will be competing with the closed source models, and we still win because costs of everything come down. Elon Musk didn't want to be left out from this week's news update, so he announced something called Baby Grok, which is a dedicated app to kid-friendly content. I have no idea what that looks like yet. Do you think your kids should be using AI? I think that they should learn how to use AI because it's the future. I might be biased because I have an AI channel. Continuing with coding news, we have something called GitHub Spark. So dream it, see it, ship it. It helps transform your ideas into full stack intelligent apps and publish with a single click. So GitHub has their own vibe coding platform now, which is different than Copilot? Question mark. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet and I hope to try it in the near future so I can give you my thoughts. As a programmer myself, I like diving into all these different platforms just to see what they offer and how well they work. 
Hedra announced real-time avatars oh, that look start. like this, and you can just talk to them in real time. Uh, I'm talking about real-time avatars, and I'm showing my YouTube viewers how you work. So you're demonstrating the capabilities of real-time avatars for your YouTube audience. You can see you can kind of have like a back and forth conversation. Pretty cool. You can actually customize, use your own avatar or use some of their own defaults that they have. Leonardo AI updated. You can now access VO3. Last week, I talked about how like the AI browser market is starting to heat up while there's another browser this week called Composite or by Composite. And it is basically an agent within the browser. So it can like fill up forms and do stuff for you. So you can actually see what that looks like. And as always, I have links in the description below so you can like follow the news. You can click any of this and learn more, but you can try this one yourself. It is Mac only, I believe at the time of recording and there's like a free trial process. So you can give that a go. That is all the AI news you need to know over the last seven days. If I missed something, leave a comment down below. Let me know. If you guys want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest AI, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. Like the video, it tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video. Videos, news,